I once worked with a murderer. He was in Wakefield Prison for 15 years. The church couldn't help him, so they sent him to me. I said, oh, thank you very much. <laughs> anyway, he came, and for two years we'd walk in the woods, and he'd bash trees. He was brought up in a very, very violent house. He went to Borstal. He was stealing this, stealing that. And eventually, he met a woman, and she was the local prostitute. And one day, he went upstairs. She was with a client. He couldn't take it anymore and killed her and went to prison. So I, when he came to me, I said, can we work in my counselling hut? He said, no, it's like my prison that I've been in for 15 years. Can we go to the woods? And I had a little dog called Buddy, and he was a great counsellor. Because this man cuddled this dog and felt love from this dog. And it was beautiful to see him unwrap the hell inside him. He smoked like a trooper. Anyway, after two years, he started reading Louise Hay. And he began to put into practice loving himself. And he realized he was quite bright, because he was always told at school he was stupid. Anybody here at school told they were useless? My headmaster told me, King too, you'll make nothing of yourself on the last day I left, at 15 years old. Yeah, because I was always a rebel. I always wanted to think outside the box. I used to get the cane from Chris Tarrant at my private school, the millionaire guy. Oh, he used to send me, King, get to the headmaster. And I'd get the swack. And one day I put a book down on the backside and I got twice as much. You know, when we really, like this murderer, learn to love ourselves, he dropped the label of being a murderer. He began to move into love, from fear into love, just step by step by step. And about a year later, he came and tapped me on the shoulder in a sweet shop. He said, I want you to meet somebody. So I went out to the car park. He said, this is my new, my new wife. And she turned to me and said, I don't know what you've done for this man, but he's so loving. I said, well, he's done the work, not me. He's done it. And they got married. And then because he'd smoked, and smoked, a year later he died. But at least he found the miracle of love in him.